Hey everybody, you're tuned in to Perilous 3D. Thanks for joining me. Another day, another episode of our Subnautica adventure. I'm having so much fun, guys. If you're playing this game, or if you've played this game, or if you're thinking about playing this game, let me know in the comments down below, not at my nipples, down below in the comments. Please tell me how it's going for you, what you're up to, um, any tips, tricks, or if you're just starting the game, if you have questions, I'll do my best to answer. I'm at the still somewhat at the novice level, but I still have learned a lot of things. And as I've been saying in my last few episodes, the way that I game usually is I go in blind to everything. I don't use um, searches on, online. I don't use wikis. Um, I try and just figure it out for myself because I think it's, uh, it's more entertaining, uh, at least for me, to, to play that way. More of a, an extra layer of novelty, as I say. But anyway, last time I found an island, and I didn't even realize you could get out of the water, which is really cool. Um, the sun is setting. Wow, that's awesome. Really cool visuals in this game. Uh, I have yet to figure out how to fix the water. I'm still working on that, but the graphics for now are, are you know, acceptable. They're on a pretty high setting, so I'm going to go with that. But let's check out this island and see what there is. There's some weird thing up there. I don't know if it's another life pod or a crashed ship. But that looks interesting. Some new flowers to discover. Oh, no. And some... Whoa. Hey. No. Some little crab creatures. Are they attacking me? I can't tell. can't tell if they're attacking me or... Just jumping around. What's wrong with this thing? There we go. Cave crawler. So it looks like they're not... Oh, they are aggro. Shit. Fuck. And now... It's night time. Ow! Am I poisoned? This is not what I wanted to do with my time. Oh, I killed it. And I can't... Loot it for some reason. Guess you can't loot them. Okay. Or do I need to cut it up? Is that why? No. No. Anyway, I'll leave that poor crab alone. But now I have to be careful because there's uh, hostile monsters here. I also noticed that the scan came up briefly. Whenever I was, um, my toolbar was on something else, I saw a little scan symbol on the right, so I'm not sure what that means, but I'll try to be more attentive to that in the future. Oh, oh, no, you son of a bitch! How many of them are there? Jeez, I saw at least two earlier, but this, this little yeah. shit is creeping up on me, and of course I didn't bring a damn first aid kit. I'm not going to let you sneak up on me again. You're going to die. It's just how it is. Sorry. Where are you? Come here and let me kill you. He's gone. No, no he's not. I can still hear him. So this is not what I needed to do. <laughs> is come to this island and just run around in the dark aimlessly. Uh, oh, there's that symbol again. There must have been something that I can scan. Is that what, is that what that's telling me? I usually just try and scan everything until I find stuff that I can scan, but if I don't have to, that's great. So, some kind of voxel shrub. No idea what that does. This I've already scanned. Huh? Um, I need to pay attention to my headings here as well, because I'm getting lost. A bulbo tree. Hmm. And a grub basket. I wonder what all these things do. Or what it opened up or unlocked for me. Interesting to see. So I'm not... Really, I don't know what I'm saying. Because I'm not going to get lost. I can always find my uh, my life pod, which I've highlighted in red. So the odds of me getting lost with that alone as a marker are slim to none. However, I don't want to get too far in here and maybe come upon some extra... Uh, baddies that want to eat my brains or something like who knows speckled ratter rattler that doesn't sound friendly I mean I could be wrong but you gonna blow up on me no I can pick these up though 
Ooh. Goodies. Goodies all around. So I haven't heard any feedback from you guys. Let me know uh, if you want me to continue doing this thing on the camera with commentary, or if you'd prefer, you know, to watch it. Um, oh, cool, you can cut those. If you prefer to watch it in full screen uh, with max HD, I can do that too. I can do, uh, as I say, a no BS type of Let's Play series where it's just gameplay. I don't know. I'm sure some people would prefer that. Um, others may prefer what I'm doing now. And some even yet would prefer if I would just shut the fuck up and play the game. Stop talking about stuff like that because nobody cares. But, you know, trying to be considerate. Now, I picked up way too many things. <laughs> but when you find a new material, the tendency is to stock up Especially since it's on an island that's pretty far away. So, Rather than just continue to run around aimlessly... Um, I can't tell if the sun's rising. No, that's just the trees making that light. So instead of just running around like this, like a chicken with its head cut off, I'm going to go and continue that quest. There's a mining plant. Or no, it says Ming. <laughs> it's a Ming plant. Interesting. So I think now I've scanned most, if not, no, there's another one. Always more. Okay, so the sun is coming up, so now would be a good time actually to continue the quest. So I'm going to go back and find the waypoint, which is right there. Now I'm going to have to be super careful because I didn't bring a first aid kit. That's the first thing. And the oxygen goes down very fast when you go below 100 meters. So I'm going to have to be extra cautious here. See, some things you can dice up and others you cannot. Inventory full. Uh, now I've stocked up on all kinds of crap. When I get down there, I'm not going to be able to pick up anything. It's great English, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I want to bring back a good healthy supply, but not like... Let's not go crazy here. Another goal for me is to not hit escape. <laughs> Such a, a bad... Uh, or difficult habit, rather, to uh, conquer. So just jump in the water, Minecraft style. Get in the water swim like a mofo and hopefully I'll be, able, I'll be able to get there before my oxygen runs out which is doubtful at this point wow I'm deep I'm Passing in deep 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Um, what? where is this thing? is it in a cave? that's not good I don't want to go in a cave you know what I could find is an oxygen bubble. One of those plants that produces oxygen, and then I can just keep going back to that thing instead of going back to the surface. Oh, 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 no, that's a school of fish that looks like bubbles. Never mind. I did find the cave, though, down below. However, I'm running out of air already, so time to go back. And it looks like you can just hold down right-click. You don't have to hit space at the same time or anything. I don't think I'm raising my hand right now. I don't know what that does, but I'm still going up. So I'll have to fool around with that some more and see what I can come up with. But right now there's no reason for me to really go back, I don't think, unless I get low on health. So this could be a fairly productive episode. But like I said, I want to find a bubble plant, whatever they're called, so that I can uh, avoid having to come to the surface every five minutes, because that's, whatever, two minutes. It's really taking away from my time. And obviously below 100 meters, it starts to go real quick. So I gotta be a man on a mission here and really get to where I'm going. I'd love to pick up that silver, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Shit, I don't know if I'm going to have enough air. 
And when I get there, I'm gonna have to be super quick. Oh no, 200 makes it even worse? Damn, this is not good. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna die. Shit. I'm gonna die. I don't like this. I mean, I think... What the hell? It's broken. I, 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 I want to say I could make it, maybe, but no. Look, I'm choking already. Shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. 30 seconds. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, I don't need to hit rocks right now. Oh, man. Oxygen. No. Oh. Ah. Oh, and I'm low on health, too. Oh. Uh, it's not good. No! Oh! Oh! Oh, my God. I forgot that you start to black out. I thought... I, I couldn't remember. I thought that your life would go down, like in Minecraft. Wow. Couldn't get closer than that. It's like I got right to the surface as I was blacking out. Whew! Alright, I'm going back. <laughs> I hate to come all this way just to head back, but I really need to get first aid kits, fill up my health, eat, drink, come back more prepared, because I had no idea that this waypoint, uh, this waypoint, that this island was here. Right beside this waypoint, so... I'm going back. I'll go back underwater. Um, we'll fast forward to, at the, you know, the um, life pod. Get inside the life pod, make a few things happen, get ready, and then we'll continue once I'm ready to go. <laughs> On my way home, I'm going to stop and uh, see what I can collect off this big uh, mamma jamma. I'm not going to spend too much time here, though. But I saw this. There's little gonads down here, whatever these are. I'm going to try cutting them and see. Oh, it doesn't like that. See how it's twitching? It doesn't like that. It's the last thing I need is for it to whack me with its tail. Or, like, skewer me. Alright. Heading back. Ah, fuck it. Use the sea glide. I think I used the sea glide because I'm about to die of thirst, but it is dead. It is officially dead. Exchange power source. Oh, do you have to use it up completely before you recharge it? That would be cool. Let me try that. But first, I need to drink before I die. Take a couple of these with me. Vital signs stabilizing. Get nice and hydrated. Yeah, there we go. Make some more also. One more. And oh, it was actually salt that I was finding, not silver. So um, with the spade fish I can make food. And maybe with this stuff I can also make food. So while I'm here, I might as well take a moment and Shoot, I should have grabbed the battery while I'm out here. Okay. Let's see if I can recharge the Sea Glide. Somehow. Um, assign quick slot. No. But what if I go here and type R? Oh ho ho ho! What is this? What did that say? Previous SA select escape. Why does it fade like that? Uh, so it looks like I can select. Why is there two of them? Um, what? Oh, here we go. Okay. What's this green one, though? I don't get it. Oh, that's how much you. Okay, I see. So if I go select. Aha! Is that 100%? But hold on. I still want to go back and check this out here. So... That shows... Ah, that's really annoying. Next, previous, 
W and D also do the same thing? Is that what that? Okay. And select and cancel and E for escape. Or you can just wait till it fades out, which is annoying. Alright, so I don't want to waste power on that thing. I figured out how to recharge things, which is pew, ace. Didn't have to look it up, see guys? That's why I do it. Because eventually you'll... If they've created the game properly, it doesn't have to be easy. But eventually you should be able to stumble upon information or the things that you need. Just basic, you know, gaming design stuff. So I'll grab one more of these, and I think... If I can just fill up on my food, we'll be ready to go here. No idea what these other things do, but I'm going to keep them for now. If I can hold them. Damn. Uh, I'm going to need another cargo container. Titanium is going quick. I have to go farming after this. So, before next time, yes, definitely farming is in order. And crafting and all kinds of things like that. Right now, I need this in order to dump my inventory. So, as we uh, round up this episode, we still have a few minutes, but as we start to uh, come to an end on this one, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I would love to hear your comments and your feedback. So drop me some of those. And, of course, if you're enjoying the series, don't forget to like and uh, support the channel. I'd really like that. It would really help us out and allow us to keep creating more videos like this. So, I need to <laughs> drop this off. I'm going to keep three of each just for now, so that I'm not filling up um, too much. So I've got so much stuff. Maybe I can do four of each. Yeah. There we go. That's good for now. I'll drop the rest. Drop off this salt, and then we're going to head back. Might as well make some salted food. I've never done this. I don't know what else you're supposed to use salt for, so what the hell. If it lasts longer and I'm able to carry it with me, then... That's a bonus, for sure. And it'll create some more inventory space for me in my bank. I wonder how long the cured stuff lasts for, if it's just indefinite, or some kind of a timer on it. Oh, before I go, there's a transmission, it looks like, here. Let's check it out. With any luck, there'll be another quest in the same area. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Copy. Sunbeam. So, yeah, I got some food. I'd love to have some daylight, but maybe by the time we get there... It'll be daylight, but I've got some first aid this time and cured peeper. <laughs> peeper. That's funny. Um, yeah. So I think I'm good this time. As always, I'm only going to grab these ladder fish because I need them. But, yeah, I'm going to try and get there as soon as possible. In fact... I'm going to use the Sea Glide this time because I can recharge it. I've still got a few batteries at home. I want to track those uh, aggro fish again. And we got to get there quick. So, With the magic of video editing. And we're here. And it's daylight. So that worked out perfectly. Because um, I was going to actually use my light. But now I don't have to. So I'm going to let the sun come up a little bit more, see if we can create some more light for us down here, but it's it's just dark in general, so I'm just going to go for it. But this time we've got the sea glide, so I should be able to make it here and back no problem, even with the oxygen running out. Look how much faster I'm going, so on the way back, pro probably the sea glide oxygen would be faster than the flotation increased. thing, but we, maybe we can compare and do tests and find out. 
But yeah, hopefully this time I don't. Uh, what is that? Quartz. I may want to pick that up. It looked like a big chunk of it. Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh yeah, something. Integrating new PDA data. That one too. High capacity tank. Love it. Love it. Can I get in here? Can I get in here? No. 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 Anything? Oh, oh, oh. Got something. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Last time was so close. This time looks like it's gonna be close again. Oh man, why do I do this to myself? I hope I got everything down there because I'm not going back. Oh yeah, I got it. I got it this time. I'm gonna make it, no problem. Wow. Intense. Intense. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Intense. Um, do I want to go down there again? To see if I missed anything? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I did. I feel, I feel like I was somewhat thorough in looking around, but with time ticking and the oxygen going down every second, man. That's intense. <laughs> I can't say it enough. Um, jeez. I, I guess I, I could handle it. My life is still full. Food and water's okay. Why not? I'm gonna go try again. Here we go. Still have plenty of uh, sea glide power. I think if I go straight down, obviously, there's no. Meters. There's no question, but if you go straight down, then, um, oh yeah, that yeah, was this thing I wanted to go get. How do I collect special equipment required to collect this resource? Okay, never mind. So I'm going to change my mind here about going down because if there was really something down here for me to grab, I'll grab this at least for now. Uh, the blue stuff, the blue waypoint things would be activated. I don't see anything. I don't even know if I can make my way back to that thing. So I'm going to say that I got everything. But if I missed a little secret, you know, if I missed a little secret here and there, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. I'm just out to have some fun here playing the game. I'm not... I actually am a completionist. Uh, but when it comes to games like this, or if I decide that that's not important, I can actually make the switch and not feel like I have to do everything, but for certain games, especially old school retro games, absolutely, uh, I feel like I have to complete everything. But that's not the case here. However, before I go back, I'm going to try not to screw this up and die, because <laughs> that would suck really bad right now. Um, I'm going to take a chance and go explore some more of this island while I have daylight, because I can always swim back in the dark, right? But daylight here is, is obviously much better for looking around. So I'm going to follow this path and see what I can come up with. Mm, that. Uh, I want to make it up to that thing for sure. So let's just, let's just keep going in this direction. Oh, Aurora Rendezvous Point. I didn't even know there was a waypoint there. So it looks like we're going to be completing a mission here at the same time. That's excellent. Um, it looks like you can't climb certain things. Oh, you can jump too! Oh man! How did I not know that? How did I not know you could jump? One thing I should do though, even even though I don't look up um, stuff... Wow, you can really like double jump off walls and stuff. You gotta be careful. Uh, even though I don't look at wikis and look things up online, I should still look at the um, key bindings. And I haven't looked at them in a little while, so that should be something I should study and know what all the keys do, because that's obviously very important and efficient, and um, I should be doing that for sure. But I'm very curious to see what this is. Oh, can I jump in the water so I don't have to... Yeah. Sweet. Now, 
Where is this? I hope it's in here. Ah. Oh. Abandoned PDA? Oh no. Integrating new PDA data. I'll have to read that story later. Okay, well, looks like the only way out of here is through the water, so might as well go explore and see what I can scan before I head out of here. Grew cluster? I've already scanned that? I don't remember that stuff at all. Coral shell, yes. Um, whoa. This looks hella deep. Don't know what this map does, but... Sometimes I like to use it just to see, see what I sees. To seize what I sees. Um, Passing 200 meters. what is this thing? Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Better get out of here, I'm gonna die. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Scan this freaking thing. Um, what was I gonna say? Hard, hard to tell if I'm going up or down. <laughs> that is weird. Oh yeah, so I didn't even find that thing. I'm going to be able to find it now. But that uh, crashed, whatever it was. Um, I guess I'll save that for another day. Because we're quickly running out of time here and I need to find my way back home. So, that's what I'm going to do. But... Wow, very productive episode. We finished a couple of missions. We um, collected some things in the water, uh, made some food, made some water. Those were minor things, but those were done. Figured out how to recharge stuff. That was probably the biggest discovery, um, as well as getting out of the water, getting on land, jumping, double jumping, and then hurting yourself. Um, so yeah, learned a lot of good things. But, I don't know, man. This point in the game, it seems like we're doing pretty well. Got some quartz, even. So, I'm happy with the progress so far. I'm going to keep it up. Uh, and before next time, I'm going to do a lot of farming. Because I need some more titanium. I need some more uh, other materials and, and stuff. So, I'm going to spend some time doing that and crafting. But if I come across anything new, I'll be sure to record that. Um, ne next episode may be another one of those cameraless ones because I'm trying to, you know, go back and forth and let you guys get a taste of which one you prefer. If you want, you know, I won't be offended if you say you want to just see full screen video with no camera, no commentary. I understand because I kind of prefer that myself when I'm watching le Let's Play videos, but I know not everyone is the same. So, one of the big things that I do this for, not just to share with, with uh, the audience, but to archive my adventures and games because I like looking back years later and, and remembering that and saying oh, I love that game I used to have so much fun playing that game and as the games evolve and change over time you know it's neat to go back and look at the game you know in a previous version and see how much it's changed and how much you've changed and how much more how much grayer your your beard has gotten but yeah Hope you're enjoying the series so far, guys. If you are, drop me a comment, please. I'd greatly appreciate it. And let me know how it's going with you, what you think of this so far, uh, how your adventure is going, everything. Anything. <laughs> drop me a comment. Let me know. Uh, join me again next time for another episode of our amazing uh, Subnautica adventure series here. And, yeah, have a good rest of your day. Take care. Oh yeah, and there's this. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attack. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Another quest. So that's what we'll be doing next time, probably. Oh, <laughs>